I'm at a film studio. Little one does mostly animation. And one of the artists is this guy who he does backgrounds. Not even one of the main artists, this guy who is a background designer. He started to ask me out after I was there about a week. Barely know the names of people or even have my own desk yet. And this man, he was, he was old, he was maybe 40 or so, sets his sights on me and doesn't let up for months. Months. Have you ever had a person pester you day after day for months? Have you? No. Didn't think so. It's, um, it's not very fun. It's fucking scary. And makes you sick to your stomach. Like, throw up sick. And, you know, it's, it's not cool. Not that there was anything I could turn him in for. No, he was, he was too good at it for that. This guy, he, he was a pro. He just found a way to always be next to me, to talk to me and listen to my conversations and leave when I did and take the same train. Not that he lived in the same direction as I did or had any business going that way. <laughs> But when I, finally, when I finally broke down and I confronted the guy, it was, it was this screaming fit in front of the whole company. Like, and, and he made it look like I was crazy. Like I was the one doing it to him or, or that I, ha I had let him on. I mean, it, was, it was so twisted. So wild, some of the shit that he accused me of. Like, I really felt I was maybe going insane. I started to get ill and I had all these headaches. Finally, I, I even started seeing a therapist. All because of him. And I was still working there and sitting, sitting in his chair and staring at me. Smiling at me all day. Every day. And, and nothing anybody could do about it because... I had nothing I could pin on him. You know, no texts, no emails, no paper trail. As I'm slipping further and further down a rabbit hole, starting to use my sick days, coming in late, um, or, you know, or I would, I would leave after lunch, and my work is starting to slide because this man is looking at me. The way he is looking at me, just whispering shit to me. And then one day it just stops. Uh, he gives his notice, leaves, leaves the company, moves out of the city. Why? Yeah, I don't know, I don't care. You know, did it finally catch up to him, some shit he'd done before, or he was doing at the same time, even? I don't know to this day. All I know is what he did to me. How he wrecked me by hitting on me. That's what he did. That's what I call it, hitting on me. Same as if he'd been punching me in the face over and over and over. That's how much this guy hurt me. But, you know, on the inside, where nobody can see, and only I know where the cuts are. So yeah. It does happen, often, and that's why I can't really worry if a guy or two, like you've described, these regular guys, if they get their little feelings hurt every so often. So sorry. Welcome to the fucking club.